it's nine o'clock and they're kicking us off the ship. Oh, I'm enjoying perfect. a cup of coffee. Okay. Very, very tired. Okay. Okay. And I don't want my vacation to end. Okay. I need more vacation. Right. Stat. Okay. Eddie decided to have breakfast, so I am now sitting in the sunshine, enjoying the sunshine with my coffee. I'm actually kind of amazed that there are this many people still here <laughs> because the boat is in, uh, where are we, Long Beach? We've been in Long Beach since 7.15 in the morning and people are just... People are working on the ship and other people are just hanging around eating breakfast and milking the last few minutes of vacation just like me it's only a little after 11 o'clock and i am so hungry i'm also very tired maybe that's it um i'm just very hungry and it's weird because i usually don't eat until what like uh four o'clock in the afternoon must be the cruise food. I'm super hungry. I really just want a couple poached eggs, but I'm out and about getting some errands done. Just dropped Eddie off for dialysis, so I'm at the grocery store. I'm at Ralph's. I really just want poached eggs. There's a sushi restaurant over there, and that would be really good, but I don't need to go into a sushi restaurant by myself and eat a whole bunch of sushi right now because a poke bowl would be good. I wonder if there is a pokey restaurant Okay, I was gonna go in the grocery store here. Now I'm gonna drive around and look for a Poke Bowl restaurant. That sounds amazing right now. Okay, I was borderline annoyed for a minute because I drove all over looking for a Poke Bowl restaurant. And I ended up downtown and I couldn't, um, there was no parking. Downtown Pasadena is ridiculous to park. Um, so I ended up at this Vietnamese restaurant here and I got three shrimp spring rolls, which are delicious. I love them. Um, I love them here. They're really fresh. So basically the inside is shrimp and it's lettuce and basil and onion. It's all shrimp and vegetables. So it's really delicious. So all I counted was I counted two points for the spring roll wrappers. I looked up spring roll wrappers. They are two points for three of them. So that's all I counted and it was so, so good. And so I'm sitting there um, waiting for my spring rolls and I realized this place serves pho, which is a Vietnamese soup. Um, it's usually huge and delicious. It has all kinds of noodles. Anyway, um, they put boiled eggs in them. <laughs> So I was like, oh, I want an egg. I'm gonna see if I can just order a boiled egg. So I ordered a boiled egg and he asked how I wanted it cooked and um, you know, I told him, he said, well, well done. I was like, no, not very well done at all. You guys, it was the most perfect poached egg. It was delicious. Between the spring rolls and the poached egg, that was like the perfect meal. I am so happy and so satisfied for two points. Yes, I love it. I love freestyle. I love freestyle. I am so satisfied. So I just got my hair done and I hate the way they do my hair every time. I hate the way they style it. It just, it never looks right. Look how frizzy it is. Ah, I'm a frizz ball. But the highlights look great, right? She did good, and well, she should because it cost an arm and a leg. Hey everyone, it's about 6.30 now. We are finally home. We spent the whole day errands, Christmas shopping, stuff, boring stuff. Um, so we're finally home and I'm going to run my mile. I should have just done it earlier, but like before we left the ship, but I didn't feel like it. And now I really don't feel like it. And it's super duper cold out here, but gonna go get it done, run my mile. I am definitely not gonna miss a day of the holiday streak after doing it for over 20 days. We're already over halfway there, so not gonna miss a day. So I'm gonna do that and then we are going to um, bag up some stuff for the homeless people. We actually 
don't have time to make lunches for our homeless friends this weekend because um, we've been gone for half the weekend and then we have another commitment tomorrow already. So instead of making lunches, we are going to deliver tomorrow morning, we're gonna deliver pastries. Um, we're giving them a pastry, an apple, an orange, a bottle of water, a toothbrush, and some socks. So that's gonna do it for tomorrow, but I'm sure they will be thankful and grateful. So I feel bad for them because it's really cold out here. Anyway, I'm gonna run my mile so I can get warm. Okay, done, one mile. So you guys, I counted all my points for everything I had over the last two days on the cruise and I'm at like negative 244 for the week. So, but you know what? It's okay. Those are the kind of points that are worth it to me when I'm living my life, doing my thing, enjoying my food, enjoying every bite and the memories and the moments those are okay um so but it is very um it feels very good to get back on track today i'm totally on track today jumped right back in back to normal and i can't help but keep thinking about what i was um telling you guys a couple videos ago about the lifestyle being forever so this is my lifestyle i've jumped right back into it um this is what I eat, this is how I eat, this is how I live my life. I go on vacation for a couple days, I have a food event, I enjoy it, and then I jump right back into my lifestyle. That is my lifestyle. So it does feel really good to get back on track today. And especially because right now, as I was running, I could really, I could really feel it in my belly. I could feel my belly like jiggling independently of my body and I hate that feeling. So I'm probably going to be up on the scale again on Tuesday, and I'm actually okay with that. I'm actually going to be working my regular meeting on Tuesday, so um, I don't know if I will weigh in or even if I can weigh in, because I don't think I can weigh in on a meeting that I'm working, um, but I might jump on the scale just to see. I, I don't know yet, but I am probably gonna be up, and that's okay because this, um, the last few days was well worth it and now I'm back on for a few days, see if I can get rid of that gut jiggle. It's eight o'clock and it's time for dinner. You guys, I'm super excited to try this. So this is a poke bowl from a new poke bowl restaurant in our city. I decided to try the new one this time. So um, also you'll notice, which I never ever do, I got it over salad this time. So I'm trying really, really hard to stay within my points today. So this is going to be so good it looks so awesome okay so basically on the bottom is lettuce obviously um, it's a greens mix and then um, the marinade is a cilantro yuzu sauce so I counted two points for that marinade this here is actually a mix of spicy tuna regular tuna salmon and albacore so all of the fish is zero smart points however I am counting one point for the marinade because usually um, pokey tuna or pokey fish has some sort of marinade so I'm counting two points for the cilantro yuzu sauce and one point for the marinade that the fish was in and then um, I've got a few assorted things on top I have ooh, I have no idea what that is I can't I have no idea um, this is a pickled cauliflower that I asked for I think I really don't know what that is, and I, I can't remember. There is some edamame on there and some cucumber. I did not get any avocado. Um, there is some masago, and everything is pretty much zero points except what I told you and except for whatever that is. I seriously do not know what it is, but I'll tell you in just a minute. So three points for my Poke Bowl, and then right there is my grapefruit. Bellini, which I have missed so much. I'm having it tonight in this beautiful wine glass that I got in Mexico from El Cielo. Where is it? Oh, uh, there it is. It's from El Cielo Winery in Ensenada. It was the last winery that we did our wine tasting at yesterday. So that is my souvenir glass, and that is what my Bellini is going to be in for a while. So that's it for tonight, guys. 18 
plus three points, plus the two points I had earlier from the spring rolls, makes an even 23 points. Okay, I just realized that this stuff right here is the spicy tuna. So the red-orange stuff in there is the masago, which is fish eggs, caviar. So this is spicy tuna and masaga, so still three points. Mm -hmm.